in this video I am going to explain uh, the problem statement here there is a there is a single tank and uh, it is having two sensors called uh, TLB1 that is a upper level sensor and TLB2 that is a low level, uh, lower level sensor and in the tank uh, there is a steer, uh, steering motor is there that is denoted by M and for filling uh, there is a valve called MV1 uh, that is solenoid operated and for draining purpose there is uh, another valve called MV2 and uh, there is a push button to start the process there is a PB1 and to stop the process uh, there is a PB2 button is there and uh, there is a reset uh, uh, reset button is there that is uh, PB3 and uh, there is a end indicator uh, is there uh, that is to indicate the end of the cycle and uh, that is one set of cycle and uh, there is a buzzer uh, that is going to make uh, the sound or uh, uh, sound signal <coughs> okay so uh, totally there are five inputs are there and five outputs are there in this problem statement <coughs> Uh, please maintain the same uh, variable address for example start button okay or you can use PB1 <coughs> okay in the bracket is given right so start button stop button if you write it uh, clearly that is also very good uh, be careful while declaring uh, address variable uh, space is not uh, space is not allowed in uh, many PLC software yeah, software so you should use underscore in that okay so it should be start button stop button reset button should be same name don't change the name okay for example short, short form s1 s2 no no okay. so strictly you have to follow the variables name as indicated in the problem statement so that will be easy for evaluation okay so i hope you understood the number of inputs and number of outputs okay now i explain the a sequence of operation required in the problem statement <coughs> as the uh, P, uh, pb1 is pressed that means start button is pressed okay as, as the pb1 is pressed that is start button is pressed mv1 opens and that means filling starts and water begins to fill in the tank correct right so water level uh, rises uh, slowly and then the uh, first the uh, first low level sensor will be on first low level sensor will be on right and then high level sensor will be on that is the process so i'll read out the instruction one so as pb1 is pressed mv1 opens that is filling starts and water begins to fill the tank at the same time steering motor m starts operation okay so at the same time that means when pb button is pressed the start button is pressed both uh, valve one is going to open mv1 going to open and then steering motor going to on the next operation that is when the water level reaches low level filling continues and when it reaches high level mv1 closes that means uh, filling is stopped and steering motor also stops so i think step one and step two both are clear next when filling is completed when uh, uh, filling is completed next draining operation starts that means mv2 opens and start draining the water when the water level drops below tlb2 mv2 closes okay that means draining stops when mv2 closes that means draining is completed then there is a delay of five seconds to start again filling to start again filling again filling should be started as usual that is uh, from step number one to step number three it will repeat it should repeat after a delay of five seconds like this that is filling and draining is called one cycle that cycle should be repeated for four times after four times of uh, drilling and draining end indicator eliminates that is end indicator means y3 output is indicate uh, it switches on indicator will be on continuously on okay and buzzer is on for 5 seconds 
buzzer is on for only for 5 seconds and after that buzzer should be off and filling and draining operation will not restart even if p1 button is pressed okay so by press of a reset button only filling and draining can restart by pressing a pb button i hope everyone understood uh, the, the sequence of operation required uh, uh, to <coughs> make a solution in using the ladder plc ladder logic okay so this is a problem statement and all the very best uh, all of you thank you these are the instructions uh, to be followed I already mentioned uh, before that is input and output variables name should be same as in the problem statement even uh, if you are working in delta software so address please maintain the same address otherwise it is difficult for evaluation if you are using a different uh, software not other than the delta software uh, then you can uh, there is no choice so you have you can select the different uh, address formats that should be clearly mentioned okay <coughs> And PLC program should be in a ladder logic, so other logic uh, program not allowed. Uh, just to maintain the similarity of all the students. Next, uh, PLC program solution should be submitted in PDF format and be uh, uploaded to the uh, to the cl uh, Google Classroom. A solution file name. It is very important. Solution file name should be group leader name and register regist uh, registration number. This is very important. Okay. So these are the uh, instructions uh, to be followed. Uh, while uh, conducting the uh, computation all the very best thank you